melihat perkembangan dunia sampai sekarang ini, banyak hal yang harus kita lakukan bersama-sama. Pertama, kita harus memberikan harapan bahwa pandemi COVID-19 akan bisa tertangani dengan cepat, adil, dan merata. Kita tahu bahwa no one is safe until everyone is. Empat, kita harus tetap serius melawan intoleransi, konflik, terorisme, dan perang, perdamaian dalam keberagaman, jaminan hak perempuan, dan kelompok minoritas harus kita tegakkan. Please welcome 2009 Atlantic Council Global Citizen Awardee and Founder and Executive Chairman of the World Economic Forum, Professor Klaus Schwab. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great honor for me to introduce Yoko Widodo, President of Indonesia, or as we know him in a more familiar way, Babak President Jokowi. Starting as a businessman and mayor of his home city, Surkata, in 2005, President Jokowi enter politics with the aim to serve the people, to work for the people. As a mayor, he devoted himself to eradicating poverty and reducing crime, paying spontaneous visits to the population, particularly to poor neighborhoods and marketplaces always ready to hear what the people have to say. His determination to serve people continued throughout his career as he became the governor of Jakarta and then the president of Indonesia in 2014. He was the first Indonesian president without military or elite political background. And his victory symbolized the victory of democracy in the country of over 17,000 islands, 300 ethnic groups, and 280 million people. Serving for the second time now, President Jokowi has worked tirelessly to accomplish socio-economic development in Indonesia by launching anti-corruption schemes, universal health care and education programs, and infrastructure development across the country. When I received the Global Citizen Award, in 2010, the world had to manage its first systemic crisis after the financial collapse that occurred just before. The world mastered this crisis because there was still the need and the will for cooperation. President Widodo you are confronted not only with one, but with multiple interrelated crises. And again, we all know 
Those crises can only be resolved by common efforts of the global community. If you want to avoid the danger of global disintegration and fragmentation, the G20 meeting in November provides the world with possibly the last opportunity to demonstrate that ultimately we are all part of a common human destiny. To make this G20 summit a success, it needs a chair of extraordinary talent and capability and someone who enjoys the trust of all parties involved. Mr. President, with your humble, visionary and peace-pursuing leadership, we are in the best hands. Therefore, President Jokowi is not just the man of the people of Indonesia, but he is also the man who embodies the spirit of global cooperation, a catalyst for collective peace and prosperity. I am honored on behalf of the Atlantic Council to present this year's Distinguished Global Citizen Award to President Joko Widodo of Indonesia and to receive the award in his stead his Excellency Foreign Minister Retno Marsudi. Well, Professor Swap, thank you very much for your very nice introduction. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, you have listened to the speech of my president. And I had promised to my president that my speech will be shorter than his speech. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it is a great honor for me to receive the Global Citizen Award 2022 from Atlantic Council on behalf of President Joko Widodo. As President Joko Widodo said, we need a new paradigm to build a peaceful, fair, and prosperous world, a paradigm of collaboration. Indonesia will be at the forefront in advocating this paradigm. In the world where pessimism abounds, Indonesia wants to inspire hope and confidence. In the world that is divided, Indonesia strives to become a bridge builder. And in the world full of challenges, Indonesia is determined to be part of solution. I do believe these are all traits of a global citizen and wish us luck for the upcoming G20 summit in Bali, November this year. I thank you very much. Terima kasih, Prof. Klaus Schwab yang telah memperkenalkan saya. Terima kasih di Atlantic Council yang telah memberikan Global Citizens Award kepada saya. Award ini adalah untuk rakyat Indonesia yang telah bekerja keras bersama-sama menghadapi berbagai tantangan. Tantangan domestik kami hadapi sangat berat, sebagaimana banyak negara berkembang lainnya juga menghadapi hal yang sama. Tantangan global seperti perubahan iklim, krisis kesehatan, krisis pangan, krisis energi, dan krisis finansial juga 
menjadi agenda kebijakan prioritas kami. Semua ini butuh komitmen tinggi, serta butuh kebijakan yang akurat, yang terlaksana dengan baik. Sebagai Presiden, saya sangat dibantu oleh masyarakat Indonesia yang majemuk, yang damai, bersatu, dan bergotong royong dalam sistem politik yang demokratis. Saya dan pemerintah Indonesia terus berupaya untuk berperan aktif dalam mendorong kerjasama internasional yang memuliakan perdamaian dan kemakmuran bersama. Posisi Indonesia sebagai Presiden G20, kami manfaatkan untuk membangun arsitektur kesehatan global yang tangguh, serta pertumbuhan ekonomi yang inklusif dan berkelanjutan. Penghargaan Global Citizen Award ini sangat berarti bagi saya, tetapi yang lebih berarti adalah dunia yang damai, yang makmur, dan yang berkeadilan. Terima kasih.